Mama was an extraordinary, ordinary individual. I've always been a pretty fortunate person. Never had much time to be lonely or to think too many gloomy thoughts. I've been blessed with lots of family, and I've always had plenty of work that needed to be done. Uh, she was a hard worker. I've seen her work in the fields on the, uh, uh, at the side of the men. She did more heavy work in her lifetime than probably 90% of the men. Though there weren't many people in our little town, our house was always pretty full. There was my father, Hugh, and my mother, Esther Evelyn, plus my 14 brothers and sisters. I have wondered how she maintained self-confidence until I read a letter from her mother who wrote, I'm so sorry you have such a hard life. You were always my favorite child, the sixth of 15. What a difference love makes. So, thinking back, I got no reason to complain, none at all. <laughs> I've always been blessed. She was very opinionated. She was very forthright in telling you what she thought. She was just a very strong-willed woman. Did your folks, what did they raise on the farm in addition to you? Tobacco and corn, wheat and little cane. Little cane? <laughs> Never had much time to read, always being busy with the farm and all, so it's funny how a magazine article changed my life. It was a National Geographic article about the Appalachian Trail, and the writer said no woman had ever hiked the trail by herself before. I kept thinking, why not me? Why couldn't I be the first one? I'd walk places all my life, so how hard could it be? No woman had done this, and no one had ever hiked the trail from one end to the other in one season. I've had friends say she was well ahead of her time, and, and when you really think about it, well, maybe she was. Since I didn't want anyone to tell me this was a foolish idea, I kept quiet about what I was going to do. Then, well, the next morning, I just started hiking. Grandma Gatewood? She's the lady who uh, hiked with a shower curtain and a wool blanket. Now we got Cuban fiber and Gore-Tex, and she had kids in a wool blanket. She started at Mount Oglethorpe in uh, April, and she wound up on Mount Katahdin in October. Mama loved to sing, and when she reached the top of Mount Katahdin, which she climbed three times, she sang America the Beautiful. But to us, her children, Grandma Gatewood was just Mama. Nope. Don't you worry about us, Annie. Not at all. <laughs>